Edward is the number two blue engine on the island of Sodor. He was one of the first engines to work on Sir Topham Hatt's Northwestern Railway. He is an old but wise engine who runs a branch line between Wellsworth and Brendan. Sometimes, Edward is called to help push bigger engines up the hill, including Gordon. Hmm, about time you showed up. Why couldn't Sir Topham Hatt just send a faster and more reliable engine to help? <sighs> Come on, Gordon, we've been working on this railway for years. You should at least appreciate me coming to help keep you and the Express running. Hmm. Express coming through! He never even bothers to say thank you. Typical. And other times he is asked to work with two cheeky twins. Oh, no, not this again. Oh. <laughs> Bill, Ben, quit fooling around. You're supposed to be taking these fish to market. Oh, come on, Edward. It was only a joke. Yeah, where's your sense of humor? This is serious, guys. Sir Topham Hat won't be happy if those crates are delivered behind schedule. Ah, oh, you're no fun. <sighs> Twins. Oh, hey Edward, how are you doing? Hello Thomas, I'm doing okay. Just finished my last run for the evening and now it's time for me to get some rest before tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Are you busy tomorrow? No, not terribly, but it's always best to get plenty of sleep before returning to work. Yeah, you're right. I'm just about to head back home myself. It's been a long day pulling passengers. <laughs> yeah, I feel ya. I've had to work with Bill and Ben today, but let me tell you, they can never stop being mischievous. Oh, those two are always getting into trouble. Just tell them firmly to behave and they'll stop messing about. Don't worry, I always know how to deal with difficult engines. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like my tanks are full again. Better get going. Night, Edward. Night, Thomas. <sighs> So the new engine's coming tomorrow? Percy? Yes. What are you... Shh, I'm trying to some listen. Of the passenger and freight duties. She's a steam engine from Africa, and apparently she no longer has a shed to stay at. So I've decided to have her come and live on Sodor. Oh, great! Well, I'll certainly be looking forward to seeing her. He said Did you hear Africa? that, Thomas? Mm -hmm. Sir Topham Hatt is getting yeah, an engine that comes all the way from Africa. Africa? Anyway, she'll also be doing some of Edward's jobs. He seems to struggle a little with some of his trains nowadays, and I don't want him to overwork. That's why we need another engine to help out on this railway. What? Yes, you're definitely right about that. Edward shouldn't have to do more than he can handle. Indeed. Did... did he just say she'll be doing some of Edward's jobs? And that Edward is starting to struggle? And that's why we're getting another engine? If so, do you think this means... Edward is being replaced? What? Edward being replaced? I find that hard to believe. But we heard Sir Topham Hatt saying another engine would be coming today. Yeah, he said she'll be doing some of Edward's work because he's starting to struggle with his trains. Guys, you're kind of overreacting. Sir Topham Hatt would never replace Edward. He's part of the steam team. Well, despite the fact that he doesn't often sleep at Tidmouth in this series, because we only have like five births here, but just because another engine is coming to help out doesn't mean that he's no longer part of our family. I quite agree. Edward may not be as strong or as fast as some of us, but he's still a main member of this railway. I just hope he doesn't lose so much attention. Me too. Nonsense, he's a very popular engine. Yes indeed. Now, enough with this chitter chatter and why don't one of you fetch my coaches for me? Ah, <sighs> and why don't you fetch your own? Because tender engines don't shunt. He's so lazy. Hey, I heard that. Ah, Edward, I was expecting you. Good morning, sir. You said you wanted to introduce me to someone? Yes, I did. We have a new engine coming to Sodor this morning, and I thought she'd be a big help with some of the jobs you do on your branch line. Jobs? That I do? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that must be her now.
Wow, so this must be Brendan Docks. Hello, hello, welcome to Sodor. I'm Sir Topham Hat, the controller of this railway. Oh, pleased to meet you, sir. Huh? Edward, this is Nia. She's an orange tank engine who comes all the way from Africa. Oh, uh, hello, Nia. Uh, I'm Edward. Hello, Edward. It's so exciting to be working here. Nia will be helping to pull passengers and freight across your branch line. My branch line? Yes. She'll be here to make sure that you don't overwork or strain with so many cars and coaches. Well, uh, thank you, sir, but I don't have too much trouble pulling rolling stock. No, of course not. But I don't think it would be fair for you to pull more than you can carry. He's right. That's why I've been asked to help. Oh, uh, I see. Right then. Nia, I'd like you to take some passengers from Wellsworth to Suttery. Do you know the way? Yes, I do, sir. I'll get started right away. And Edward, I want you to collect some workmen and bring them over to the China Clay Pits. Uh, yes, sir. Percy and I overheard Sir Topham had talking about her last night. You did? Uh-huh. And we've both been worrying about you. Well, I can understand that. I mean, I was one of the first engines to work on the Northwestern, and I've been doing it for so many years now that it probably won't be long until Sir Topham Hatch suggests that I retire from regular service. What? Retire? But we've known you ever since we first came to Sodor. It wouldn't be the same working on this railway without you. Thanks, Thomas. I don't really want to stop working here either, but I may not have a choice. Times are changing, and that's when other engines need to be called in. Anyway, I better go pick up the workmen. No. No, this can't be happening. It can't. No. Good morning, Mr. Green Tank Engine. Huh? Oh, hello. Wait, was that the new engine? How are you today, Mr. Yellow Twin? Yellow Twins? Is she referring to us? I think so. Sour Coco, Mr. Blue Tank Engine. Ooh, who are you? My name is Nia. I'm an orange engine from Kenya, and it's my first day on this railway. Really? Well, welcome to Sodor, Nia. We're Annie and Clarabelle, and this is our engine, Thomas. Oh, is he all right? Yeah, he's probably just stressed from the heat we've been having lately. It's been getting a bit hot on Sodor this week. Well, <laughs> at least he's not in the Sahara. That's a desert in Africa, and it's one of the hottest places on Earth. Oh, I wouldn't even think about going there. You probably couldn't last a day without water. So you're from Kenya. Is that an African country? Yes, it is. Cool. What's it like over there? Well, there are lots of safaris, rivers, and so many interesting animals, like lions, elephants, and rhinos. But we also have some big cities in Kenya, one of them being its capital, Nairobi. Wow. You're really lucky to see all those sights. We don't get as many rhinos or lions around here. But once in a while, we may spot an elephant strolling beside the line. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't often get to visit as many cities as you. England is the mainland of our island, and their capital city is London. Oh, I've heard so much about London. I would really like to visit there sometime. Well, now that you live on Sodor, maybe you'll get the chance. <whistles> oh, that's our signal. Come on, Thomas. Goodbye, Nia. Nice to meet you. Okay, safe travels. Thomas, why wouldn't you say hello? <sighs> well, Sir Topham Hatt says that Edward is struggling and he needs another engine to work on his branch line. And I think that's what Nia is here for. Is she now? Well, that sounds like a good thing. No, actually it's not. What? Why? Because if Edward's struggling and Nia is doing his work, it might mean that she's replacing him. Replacing him? Nonsense, Sir Topham Hat would never replace anyone in the steam team. 
Are you sure about that? What if he starts to think that Edward is no longer as important like the rest of us? Of course he's important. Sir Topham Hatt needs an engine who is caring and reliable. Well, she seems caring and reliable too. But I've known Edward all my life. And so has Percy and James and Gordon. I really don't want to lose him.